namaste. Welcome to Katimi Raruga. Okay, today, our this online yoga session, we are going to touch on one of the classic standing yoga posture, known as triangle postures. Triangle postures is a very good postures, as it's not only strengthening key, your standing leg muscles, key, work on the calf thighs muscles, you also work on the waist muscles. At the same time, also help to improve key, your alignment of the shoulders here. Before you come to this part of the video, you should already have uh, gone through a list key, of the benefit of this triangle postures. So you can see actually there are a lot of benefits by just practice this triangle postures. And in today, this online okay, practical session, I will go through with you different variation key, of this triangle postures. And there are also variation key, that actually suitable for those people who leg is not so strong, okay, come have problem finding the this uh, stability there, okay, because the leg is not so strong. Okay. So I also bring up okay, uh, this variation that is suitable for those people who leg is not so strong. And I will also point out what are the common mistakes okay, that people usually make okay, while they practice this triangle posture. So you will try to okay, check your own line alignment prevent making all this mistake. So, are you ready? We shall begin the practical session now. Okay, firstly, you come to Tadasana, mountain pose. Then from here, you bring in key, your legs apart over here. Make sure okay, you check the alignment. Your feet key must be in a line over here. Okay, in one straight line. So, so check the alignments there first. Okay. This is the so-called the foundation. Okay, the foundation. So make sure your legs is, is in alignments over here. Then from here, as you inhale, you're raising your arm up to extending the spine up. Feel the spine erecting up. As you exhale, so you're bringing your arm in line with the shoulders over here. Then you turn one foot out. Okay, so the other foot is in, one foot out. Okay, the spine is erecting up. Okay, so you go to bend to the right side where the foot is turning out. Okay. First you keep a deep in heel, extending the spine up. As an S heel, you're extending the right arm towards the right, but slowly bending to the right. Your right hand. Just gently touching your right leg, which your part of the leg can touch. And left arm is standing up. You can look at the left palm. Imagine something up there trying to reach the left fingers there. Keep the left leg strong stretch. Ground the foot. Feel the stretch on the left waist. Okay? Your right calf ties muscles there. Make sure your this right hand is not resting on the right leg. So keep the left arm as standing up. Imagine something up there trying to reach with the left fingers. This right hand is just generally touching your right leg. Okay, one of the common mistakes of this triangle posture is people actually bending forward. They thought that I want to reach as far as I can, if possible, reaching my right foot. So end up they're actually bending forward. You see, when you're bending forward, you're actually not getting the stretch on your left waist and not much stretch on the right calf thighs muscles. And you'll notice, I saw the back view. When you're bending forward, in order to try to reach your okay, right foot, you notice your buttock is coming out. Okay. So, you're not gaining the benefit on the waist and the right calf muscles. So, you just have to imagine, imagine your back is against the wall there. As you go down. Okay. So, don't Shift the butter out. Okay. Keep the butter in, keep the hips in. Imagine back against the wall. As you bend to the right. Okay. We're finished. And slowly inhale back up. As you hand back on the waist. Turn the right foot back in. Okay, so same thing for the other side. You do the right side, you must do the left side. Keep okay. the balance the body here. Okay, so inhale. Raise the arm up, extend the spine up. As here, bring your arms in line the shoulders. Okay, now I'm going to do my left side, so turn my left foot out. 
Keep the spine standing as you inhale, extending the spine up as you extending the left arm towards the left and slowly bend to the left. Keep the left hips in, left butter in, imagine your back against the wall. Okay, so don't bend forward. Left fingers are touching the left leg, right arm is standing up. If you can look at the right palm, let's imagine something up there, trying to reach your right fingers there. You can feel the stretch on the right ways over here. Your left calf ties muscles there. Why? Keep your left hips in. Okay, don't bend forward. If you bend forward, you will not get okay, the waist, the calf ties muscles, a proper stretch. Then you don't really get the most benefit from the posture here. Breathe. Finish. Let's inhale back up. Exhale. Hand back on the waist. Let's turn the left foot back in. Relax. Okay, now there's some people, maybe the leg is not so strong, especially those elderly people. They might find that they have problem finding the stability there. Okay, with one foot turning out. Okay, they might find that they need more strength, okay, work more on the strength and the leg muscles when one foot is turning up to find the balance there. Okay, if that is the case, okay, if you really okay, don't have the strong leg, okay, what I would suggest, you turn, don't turn the foot up. That means re remain the both feet, okay, turn inward. Okay, don't turn the foot up, just work on side stretch. When your foot, foot is both, both turned in, you can actually find more stability okay. on your legs there. Then you can balance. Okay. Same thing, you make sure you don't put too much weight on the right hand. You're not supposed to rest there, okay? Then finish. The same thing for the other side. But of course, if your foot turn in, then actually you don't really get very much stretch on your calf ties muscles over here. Okay. You want to get more stretch on the calf thighs muscles, your foot has to turn out. Then you really can get the stretch on the calf thighs muscles. But this for those people whose leg is not so strong, then at least you can get the stretch from your waist, okay. from the side of the body. And so work on the chest, your shoulder. Improve the alignment of your shoulder here. Okay. For those whose leg is not so strong, come find the stability with the foot turning out. Okay, finish. That's back. Then you can slowly bring the legs back. And relax. So by now you have learned different variation key of this triangle postures. You just choose the variation key that suits yourself and practice regularly and it will help to key improve key whatever uh, condition key that you have. At the same time, okay, you have learned okay, what are the common mistakes okay, that people usually make okay, while doing these triangle postures. So try to check your own alignment, okay, prevent making all these okay, common mistakes. Hope you enjoy okay, today's yoga session and you have learned okay, a lot of things okay, from these triangle postures. And over here, thank you for joining my this online yoga sessions today. And please don't forget to give my this video a thumbs up okay, if you like it and to subscribe to my channel if you have not and you are also welcome okay, to tell me any experience that you have okay, or any feeling any thoughts that you have okay, about this triangle portion you can actually leave them okay, in the comment section under this video or if you want to you can also okay, comment okay, in my facebook page okay, katemira yoga and of course, if you want to, you can also email to me okay, at katamirayoga at gmail.com And you will not know okay, what you have shared might actually help someone okay, Someone out there might be looking for some solution okay, Maybe come across uh, what you have shared And it actually help to encourage them, okay, motivate them okay, to practice this triangle posture to improve their own condition Thank you everyone, I shall see you in my next yoga session Namaste.